hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you how to edit the family type photos and some of my fans requested me to make these type of tutorials and let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i want to say one thing the photoshop version of mine that is 2021 and i'm using the camera 13.0.2 so both of the things you will get in my video descriptions please check it out before you start the editing you have to make it another copy by pressing ctrl or command j you will get the another copy for the backup purpose and after that go to the filter camera filter so this camera filter is similar to the lightroom and you will get the all the panels same like the lightroom so i will edit by these plugins which is the camera 13.0.2 so this one is convenient for making the XMP file which is the preset file and you can use that preset file in your Lightroom. At first I will make little bit temperature up and little bit thin up. By the way if you want to get the downloading of this photo please check out my video description. I downloaded this one from freepeak.com and this one you can download for your practice purpose as well. Exposure I will make it little bit down and the highlight I will make it little bit down and contrast I will make it up. And shadow little bit up and the whites i'll make it like this and the texture little bit down that is minus three so one thing is that you know, why i'm making the texture down just because of if you get the texture too much the you know, cell of the face will appear too much i won't do that so vibrance i'll make it a little bit down and the saturation a little bit up so moderated things here minus six and minus plus three is the things and the value dehaze if you make it dehaze it will be more prominent or if you make it haze it will be foggy so this panel or this slider for the foggy or fog or defog this type of criteria and the clarity a little bit up and turning off the basic points and now curves so before adding the curves i want to go to the color grading this one is most important for photo editing now you are getting three things what is the color grading the main question is that so here the shadow highlight and midtone those who are don't know what is the shadow what is the midtone and what is the lights i'm shortly telling you that here the white area and the highlighted area too much highlighted or lighted area are the highlighted and the midtone under the you know, like chin and under the nose that is the mid tone and the shadow which is darker portion like uh, here that is the shadow so i'm using at first shadow color color grading is three things that means you are giving the color in the shadow you are giving the color in the mid tone and the highlight as well so taking a little bit saturation one thing is that what is saturation and what is hue hue is the color belt which color do you want to pick up from that belt and sometimes you can get uh, the panel like that here is small arrow key just press it and you will get the hue and saturation panel that is expanded now little bit saturation added the percentage of the color and now which color will be i'll define or i'll find from here i want to make it a little bit like this okay that's fine and now mid tone what color will be it will define by the mid tone i want to make it a little bit warmy mid tone that's good and here the highlight so what will be the highlight color you have to define the color like this so i want to make the color like this that's fine the color here is the color build and all color will you can pick up the color you can balance all the stuffs from here here is the balance options and the blending options what will be the blending things it will help you out to make it now i'll go to the curves from here i'll make the curves a little bit down and make the things a little bit up so one thing is that in the upper portion you'll get the highlight and lower portion you'll get the shadow that's why upper portion you're getting the lights and lower portion you are getting the dark portion so i want to make it a little bit grammar like that now in a red uh, curves which is uh, upper side red and uh, the lower side is uh, aqua and green portion you're getting the green in upper side magenta in lower side and blue upper side and yellow in a downside so according to this panel you have to define the color suppose i want to make it a little bit up like this i need to change the vibrance a little bit down it will help me out to make it okay nice then 
uh, i'm going to the detail options adding some color noise and uh, noise reduction two types of noise over there one is the color noise another one is the black and white noise i just reduce them into 21 and 23 in value if you need you can add some sharpen okay nice now going to the calibration before that i want to see before and after the hues changes now going to the color calibration three primary colors over there red green and blue so red primary color you are getting like this okay minus 11 is good for me okay that's fine and the green primary and the blue primary so accordingly you can change up over there here is the hue and saturation hue which color will be and saturation the percentage of the color that's all and now i want to make the highlights a little bit down and whites a little bit up and from here vibrance a little bit up and saturation a little bit up it will help me out to make the photo like this and here is the effects options here's some vignetting post crop vignetting okay that's fine before and after hues change and creative change and from here i'll going to the save settings options i'll make a preset which is the family preset and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description and after that hit the ok button before and after now i want to apply that preset in this type of same lights photos so going to the file again and open it up just because of i want to tell one thing uh, if you don't apply this preset uh, accordingly in the same type of lights you can't get the better result but one solution over there which is you can uh, customize your uh, the preset so making controller command j after that going to the filter and camera filter after going to the plugins panel going to the load settings options from here i will import these the family and load it up you're getting the color like this so in this uh, photo uh, i got the red color too much so you have to balance this out by using tone curve exposure and the vibrance from here okay i think this photo is good for me and before and after you are getting nice effects and it will save in your pc and before and after use change let's try these uh, things that means this preset another photo uh this type of photo that's fine this is totally different types of light or i am using this photo for your uh, like demo purpose just because of some of my fans uh, just uh, complain me that my preset is not working their photographies but uh, one thing is that or uh, if the light is not same according to the example image it don't work properly this is totally different types of lights and i just used uh, this one for the demo going to the filter and camera filter and how you will deal with that and going to the load settings options and find family preset and you're getting the color like that if you like this you can keep it or otherwise you can change up the color from here exposure and the vibrance saturation and here's the warm and cool tone as well so i think that is the perfect one and when you are satisfied just hit the ok button so we are getting the preset which is the family preset you can use that preset family photography editing purpose so don't forget to give the credit line and don't forget to give thanks to me and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification and don't forget to share with your friends until the next video i may see when you're signing out today keep me in your prayers as well stay safe stay at home bye bye